Okay guys, we're going to do a coaching session for Tom Kench. This is Diamond 5. Jin Tom Kench into Cogmore Brand. Um, going to be taking some early level damage. Just play it relatively safe until you hit level 3 for your E. Um, you might want to play... You might. You could get E level 2 if you're feeling super scared about taking too much harassment. Although it's not usually advised. Uh, you got okay like wave pushing him with the Jin, so you shouldn't be too too bad on the whole laning side of things. Jin can get a lot of wave clear done with him, by himself with the Q. Um, as soon as the brand misses his Q though, and if he is overstepping the mark, you should be an easy target to go for. Um, you should better catch him quite easily. You can Guardian uh, Tom Kench, which is fine. Um, yeah, I think it's all going to be about the first few levels and see, seeing how you handle that. It's usually the most vital thing with Tom Kench. First few levels will dictate how this lane's going to happen. Bit slow to come out of Fountain there. Normal lane pull. Yeah, that's good. As soon as the brand misses a W, as you know, it's an easy key poke in. Um. River fight's breaking out. Hmm. I think, I think you don't help here. <laughs> Gotta get the subs in coaching. Thank you, Berry Boo. Thank you for the three months in a row. I appreciate that a lot. Bizzleberry. <laughs> um, you don't need to to come here for this. Mid lane's coming down. The one thing I would be would be more concerned about, I just messed up that big time. Is um if Hecarim goes down into the river. Like there, you should turn away and to message let Zoe have the double buff. It's like he's not gonna go anywhere. It's a guaranteed kill for the Zoe. I think it is a little bit BM, you do take that. Um, yeah, that's a shame for Zoe, especially against the Fizz as well. She can land tons of auto attacks against the Fizz and deny him CS. That's a shame. Um, right, so you got these uh, double buffs now, so you're going to have to use them. Um, yeah, you can do the literal Q spam now. Just try and get in into their face as much as possible. Don't forget about hitting the cannon when you know. Yeah, you can't really go into melee range when you're not level 3. Like, you took way too much free damage there. No, it's not even worth doing W to throw it into the mini- uh, to throw the minion into their face either, unless you got a really extra charge for it on a cannon, really. And just, yeah, just with the blue buff stick with the Q harassment. You need W there to save Jin. Should have saved Jin there. Like as soon as Brand lands the E like that, you need to grab grab the, the Jin. Too far away from him there. Don't go when you're not level three. Yeah, loads of mistakes happening here. It's like, I can understand you want to get Q, 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 but you cannot go for melee at all. If you get an uh, EQ stunned on you, you you're, you're dead, basically. Um, so yeah, I, it wasn't on cooldown plus, by the way. Um, so, as soon as you hit 3 then with the bigger HP pool, then you can start being a little bit greedier about going in. Especially if you've got the 
uh, glacial augment on from inspiration to slow them down. It makes you like lock them down quite easily. But um, now you're being, being too too cocky there, disrespecting the brand stun, and it's like you, know, you obviously XP behind as well. You're having you you got put down low HP really early in lane phase for no reason, and you just had to use a flash for no reason. The only thing that's keeping you in lane, really, is that red buff. I think after this wave, you kind of need to okay, so save him. Okay, good. You need to think about stop pushing the wave and then just going back to Binus. You kind of need boots to catch up onto them. Tom Kench W is 28 seconds level 1 at the moment. When used on a um, friend, what does it go down to? Um, cause they changed it recently, didn't they? Half of that for enemy ta champions, so yeah. There's only um, enemy champions that it, the cooldown gets reduced by. Kind of lucky there that the brand is kind of like semi AFK there. You gotta stop using your W just to do harassment, it does no damage. It's not worth it to do it, the throwing. The only time you should do like, um, is Wing is for a cannon, like a Q, and then you quickly mash W, and then you, you can actually. Uh, uh, there's a pro tip by the way, if you're not aware. Tom Kench can actually consume minions and like scuttle from range. If you throw, throw out your Q and then mash W, and if the Q connects, then um, you go straight into Tom Kench's mouth. So if you're under harassment, it's a good way to able to, to secure cannon minions with Relic Shield, or to, to basically steal the uh, the scuttle away from um, an enemy jungler. At this point, I'd be concerned about your HP against a uh, Predator Hecarim, quite overextended in the uh, in the lane here. You really should just think about getting, going back, getting a control, upgrading to Targons. Wait. Yeah, literally as I call that, you guys are still overstaying in the lane still. Um, at least you see the Hecarim prepping down. You could... you what, Okay, right. Stop. What you need to be doing here actually is going up and forcing the Hecarim over here. You could probably solo the Hecarim or at least make sure he doesn't go onto your, your Jin here. Uh, Jin's got plenty of distance away from these two. If you go down here right now, you're just going to get squashed here, especially with no flash. So you're probably going to die. Yeah. Yeah, so here as soon as you found the heck room here, you should have just shoot Mr. Q, but I would keep walking up to him and scare him off. And then do ping back some bot lane. Yeah, and the Jin clicked out of the W early as well. People do that all the time when you're playing Tom Kench. So yeah, people stay. People um, leave Tom Kench's devour too early in Soda Q. It's one of his biggest problems in Soda Q. So you go back and get a cloth armor. I'm not sure why. Considering they have a lot of magic damage on their team. 
Not sure what you're going for there. Q at the same time. Nice, best. Good W, W the gin. Uh, Jesus. Get ready to W the gin. Okay. I don't know who spat who out there. Money, you had 300. You could have bought like. Another control and a health potion. I know it's annoying, but there's like no reason really to buy a buff armor here. Just W to Zoe if it's off. No, it's not. It's not. It's on cooldown. This is why Tom Kench is struggling in Soda Key right now as um, as a support because the W cooldown is just horrible. I'm definitely adjusting him to be more of a top laner. It's a it's a risky attempt of ulti. I can see why you did it though. You could have probably timed it better if you. I don't know. I guess you can't time it better because it's just that you're laying it out to show that you want to do it. Yeah, pretty risky move that. Especially when you're behind and you're easily CC'd. If I were you, I'd be like trying to save money up for tenacity. You can't go in. Just, um. Just wave quick. Uh, wave clear really quick and then just get back. Okay, now that's a really ca good catch by Jin actually. Yeah, that was well played Jin actually. For you personally in that situation, you didn't do much. Yeah, it's just a standard three man dive bot then. It's getting quite spicy down here. It seems definitely like very, very, very high aggro. Um, you do have boat treads now, which is good. This is a good backline dive. You need to prioritize on the brand though, if you can. Okay, good. You had to go on brand there because otherwise he would have just killed the gym. Good little move there by Zoe. Set up this this Drake now. Um, and then you want to basically be a, in this pixel brush being the front line here. You're basically the front line. Be the front line. It's fine. Just get the dragon done. Don't over chase. Just prioritize and get in the dragon. Just go back. No need to keep chasing. That'll be the gin. Good job. Little bit of a fiesta there. Ideally, you kind of risky chasing like this. It was pretty risky chasing like that, to be honest. Um, you can get tower, and then have you got any ward charges? If you had a ward charge, you would put it here. You haven't got any, though. Just focus on getting down the tower down. E you now. Good. It's turning into quite a snowball. You could have probably just stolen the scuttle if you just focused on doing that. Zoe's should be you should be trying to ask for pings here to get the Zoe to come down here. Good to see that the brand was exposed there, that's good. Just have to leave it now, you can't chase into the jungle that hard, don't encourage this. Yeah, just get out. Just focus on pushing down the wave. Like, instead of um, chasing the brand, your AD carry could have uh, got a lot more CS here. 
basically missed about 150 gold there. Oh yeah, I want to watch that again. Quite the whiff on the Q there. Good save from the brand there though. Yeah, it's a pretty big whiff. Gin tanks, yeah, but you also missed your key. As both of you, both of you played that pretty badly. You should be running. S mm. Yeah, I'm not sure why he ran towards Zoe instead of back to Jin. Like, if anything, if you wanted to run towards the Zoe, you should have um, ran up here so that she could have bubbled across this wall. Easier. Good engage though. Like straight away there. I think, I don't know, it seems like you thought that maybe this was an enemy uh, Jin thingy. That's what it seems like. But um, I'm not sure why you're duking around here. Just get to someone as quickly as possible to try and help you here. Like the problem is Zoe can't bubble here either because Cogmore's behind caster minions, so you just need to drag the Cogmore out. He's gonna chase for you. Yeah, he didn't need to die there. You went Knight Spell here, which is okay. I would have liked to have seen a Locket though. There's still a lot of magic damage they've got on their team. I think a Locket would be better than a Knight Spell at this point. Because you're kind of like taking armor here, but there's like nothing really to build armor for. Hogmore's basically like 75% magic damage. You could even go Adaptive Helm first, and that would have been decent still as well for both the Cogmore and the Brand. Think he came because Fizz and Hecker one shot Jim. Locket would would block more early than a Knight's Vow <coughs> from a Hecker in. Because like, what's Jin's HP? Jin's HP is thirteen k. So Knight's Vow blocks, is it 12%? Yeah, 12% if you mana. So let's just say that's like 150 HP. All right, let's just say that's 150 HP. Uh, Locket will block basically the same, but AoE. So yeah, Locket will be more value early, especially when you need magic resist anyway. I don't think you should chase the Fizz there. Uh, because you just saw their mid lane and go bot side, if you've got a spare ward, put one here. Just to have that aggressive vision down. Uh, basically, you want to start setting up for the next easiest thing. So it's either tier 1 bot or herald. I think you guys could probably just siege down the bot lane and just get uh, tier 1 bot at this point. Oh, sorry. Good, 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 good. Okay, you gotta try and kite this out. Already sacrifice yourself. Also attack the Fizz here. Yeah. I think you could have done also a couple of auto attacks there while running away. Just to get your passive stacks up. Just gonna watch that again. Key on Hecarim. Good Q again. Auto attack there, and then I'd auto attack again. 
Because Cogboss got no mana, so he's gonna have no W. He can't do anything basically to you. It's basically the only that person that can kill you is this Fizz. So it's better to sacrifice yourself for the Zoe. Um, so I would um, auto attack when the Fizz was here. Um, and then try and land the Q. And then if the Fizz was uh, slowing down to try and get me, then it would be another auto attack. You try and run away in Q. You might die, but you might survive. But it means that the Zoe is guaranteed to survive. Get Baron, uh, not Baron, you get Herald. No, sorry, you get Infernal Drake. Uh, you picked up two control wards, which is nice. Um, I would advise you, though, to make sure you build up this um, GP5 to tier 3 sooner. You've only got 500 gold on it, and 18 minutes is kind of bad. I mean, Relic Shield targets and stuff is pretty bad anyway, but the third tier of the Relic Shield allows you to get so much more gold per 5 that and allows you to execute minions so easily that it's like vital if you have relic shield. It's the best tier three upgrade on, on those GP fives. Step away from the brown. Yeah, well, Zoe's gonna die. You just have to leave her. You haven't got your flash up yet. You're dead. I mean, I can understand why you're trying to zone an ult up to top lane. It had to work a few other times with the bot side. Just um, be a little bit more careful now. After that, follow you. Try and help the team a little bit more. All this death basically stemmed from that failed ulti. You still got your ult of cooldown though. You still need to get that tier 1. Nice ulti on bot side. You kind of left tower aggro. Yeah, you messed up there. You were taking tower aggro there and then you suddenly didn't. Yeah, that. we got tower aggro here, and then you walk away from it. You should be tanking that tower, dude. The only reason Cogmore survives there at that current moment in time is because you weren't tanking the tower properly. Just focus on peeling as much as you can. You're probably about to die now. Just get a. Um, as you're about to die, you should try and get as many wards down as possible. So you put a ward in this brush here, and then ward in that brush down. To use your wards just before you die. Just want to watch this. So you're farming down bot lane, you're coming back to mid. What happened here? So your team's already fighting and they're already losing. You don't go in here. But you realize way too late that your team got wrecked. This was a valiant effort, but you shouldn't have been there. Your team obviously messed up in some minor small skirmish there and then. It seemed like you realised too late that they had already died. You've got to start thinking about setting up Baron or the next Drake. The next Drake's another Infernal Drake. And then at this stage, you've already got two. Yeah, so you're doing the right thing, you're doing a quick check of Baron and then you want to move over, over to the Dragon. Clear out vision here. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Okay. So uh, now you wait. You play the waiting game. Or someone on your team should go to top side. 
I think if they're not going to come for this... Okay, they are. If they're not going to come for this, then you should re start recalling. And then start setting up an ulti for top side. Okay, you need to stay on Cogmore here. Just stay on him the whole time. You, you, cause, mm, yeah, okay, you guess it's okay. I would say you did it too early, though. I think you did it too early. Hold on. I wanna watch that again. In the Cogmore. Exhaust here is fine. So, also, also. You could just get three autos off here, to be honest, because he's that so close to you. And then you stun, and then you just wait a bit, and then you W. I think there's a little bit of a panic there. You're setting up Baron again now, which is what you're meant to be doing. It's the only object that you should be worried about right now. Alright, what happened here? Taking this Gustle's fine. Game okay, age. Yeah. Support life problems. Trying to clear the objective out, and there's more of the enemy team than there are of you. Just be careful of that. Uh, Graves manages to steal the Baron though. At this moment of time, you need to try and get your team to uh, push, start pushing down one of the towers or split pushing. I mean, Rumble's doing really badly, so you need to try and get him up into a group, group fight, to be honest. Just bait as long as, last as long as you can in this fight. Is this fine what you're doing? I think you bailed too early there, though. You guys, you just gotta get out of here now. Just go recall as quickly as you can back. <coughs> and then ult back in. I would like to see you get a uh, adaptive helmet though for the brand and the cogmore though at this point. You shouldn't be going top side. You should have been walking back towards bot lane and having having a look to see if he needed it all. Okay, see all back towards bot. Yeah, you're not gonna better kill the ground by that, dude. Alright, luckily Graves did Graves smite that? No, he didn't even smite that actually. You're lucky it didn't reset. <laughs> Tom Kench W doesn't do that much damage to them. Exhaust is way too early there on the Fizz. He wasn't even doing anything. Watch this. Alright, so you have right, your job here is to you should be auto attacking this Fizz. Just get an auto attack or two. Just get as many passive stacks up as you can. Switch to the brand here for you. Brand's the squishiest target there. Mm, you went to the Q of the, uh, the brand there. Watch out. You're walking into your team with a brand blaze stack there. You hit Graves with that. That's a shame. Nice run bottle team. Jesus dude they I mean Okay, Rumble's ult was bad, but you don't need to do spam question mark pinging him. He's already tilted as it is, he's zero five. <laughs> it's a little bit much. 
VGD spam question mark pinging man. There's no point in tilting him anymore. Stuff like that that makes your top lane go AFK. That's actually a pretty good bait there by Rumble. Rumble played that really nicely. Well, yeah, Rumble actually soloed this fight. That was such a good bait by him. Um, let's see what you did though. Yeah, just keep your eye on the Jin. Just kite anyone away from him. You didn't need to W the the Rumble. He was fine. Noticed a bit too late about the second room. Yeah, your W wasn't wasn't any need to W Rumble there. I think that W kind of temporarily saved Hecarim there a little bit. Alright, I think this game is just basically the same gist now. I've got the gist of your Tom Kench, basically. Positives are your ultis are generally doing the right thing. You managed to pull off a couple of decent ultis. One was kind of risky and one got you killed, but generally the theme of it is, is, is fine for trying to get kills. Alright, the negatives. <laughs> Okay, another positive actually is that you're doing the right thing in acknowledging what's the easiest target to take and you're getting appropriate vision around, but the Baron and the Dragon was decent. Right, the downsides. Early in the learning phase between levels 1 and 3, you're going way too ham melee. I don't know if it's because of the double buff you had there, but like you went, you got chunked down one time for no reason and then the second time you had to use Flash. Um, you cannot go melee range without your level 3. And even when you do go melee, you're basically, uh, it's high risk. So you are basically saying, I'm guaranteed to make them use a summoner or get a kill before I have to use my own summoner. Um, item wise, I'm not a fan of the Knight's Vow. I think Locket could have been first item here and because of the nature of the brand and the Cogmore. I think that you could have um, got an adaptive helm. I think that would have been pretty nice. That would have made you so tanky, especially against the Cogmore. Would have been really, really nice. Um, half your W's were good, half of them were bad. Also, try and do attack move as you like moving away. Um, Try and like, like that Fizz for example in the river down here, try and land some auto attacks in just to get your passive stacks up a little bit on them. Let me just look at your full build at the end. Spirit Visage, Stinger. It's just really greedy. It's just a really, really greedy build. Um, I think later on the Knight's Vow is fine. Spirit Visage is okay, but honestly, it's not really like, you're not getting much worth there. Passive healing on the E isn't um, super duper amazing, but um, it's okay, I guess. Uh, I don't like the Stinger pick though. Um, you will need at some point a tiny bit of armor, so you could have also have taken like a, gone towards a dead man's plate here just to give you more movement speed and an auto attack slow on your first hit. Would be pretty nice as well. Um, but like lock it and a, an adaptive helm would have done the job there, and on the terms of the magic resist for that whole team, and then you would move towards slightly more armor for the Hecarim and the Garen, otherwise you would get shredded by him. Um, just yeah, I'll just have a little think about your builds more and try and relax a little bit more in lane. It's like the first few levels are all kind of crazy.